So this is real interesting. The title of this is The Coco Melon Era is Officially Over. Coco Melon being One a- of the most family channel type of content. Yeah, it's like a kid's YouTube channel, like they do songs or whatever. So the Coco Melon Era is officially over. Here we go. <laughs> Throwing the fucking agenda books after. They just remixed a Sexy Red song. Sexy Red, my favorite artist currently. Very influential in very for the culture. Very sexual, very sexy. I mean, self-proclaimed sexy, but. Yep, just had her sex tag leaked on her Instagram story. Oh, really? Yep, I'm sure there's a lot of children that saw that. Damn. It was up for a good 24 hours. Is it still on? Can I look it up? I was gone now. Ah, oh, shit. It's probably on uh, some dark web somewhere. Probably, yeah. I thought this was interesting. I'm looking at the comments here. It says, this teacher is going viral for remixing Sexy Red ski -y lyrics with her students in the classroom and then all the comments this generation is totally fucked new era black culture is the worst ghetto failed future 30% <laughs> graduation rate ski -y. I'm reading comments I ain't saying none of this oh shit um <laughs> Oh, oh, some of these comments are crazy. Future felons, this is sad. All future Hellcat owners instantly to add a dislike button, revoke her damn license. So at face value, it's like, okay, she's not teaching them the actual sexy red song where it's like her talking about her coochie, whatever, right. whatever, shaking ass. However, I would argue that this song is popular enough so that when them kids do hear the ski -y song, they're like, no, I know this song, ski -y, and then they'll listen to the sexy red lyrics mm. and then be like, Oh, so that's the original version. Like yep. these, you can't. I just feel like they could have picked a different beat. That's what I'm saying. Like, like you could have, like, if you're gonna pick a rap song, they could have picked any other song. Well, like you said, regardless, one way or another, they're gonna go back and figure out what song would, did we just remix in class, and then. Well, they're gonna. Now type, you got the fourth graders typing. Yeah, they're gonna type in Ski E. Second, they get home. Yeah, we did this song with our teacher. We did it. It's called Ski E. And then you're watching it with your parents. And again, I see how people could argue. They're learning. They're having fun. Yeah, I'm all about like not having to learn the traditional when you guys are making a song out of something and you guys are. As a, as a unit in the class, having a lot more fun learning this way, but it's just a little odd. They could have picked a different, she could have picked a different song for them to remix. Or she could have picked just an instrumental in general and did, they could have just made up their own whatever lyrics. I mean, there's a few songs out there that mm -hmm. you could take the instrumental to. Controla by Drake. Like, you can pick any song. Exactly. I feel like if it was high school, I wouldn't judge as hard just because like they're gonna, li they're listening to that regardless. I do feel like they might get a little more fun out of class if they have to learn it this way. But because these are literally third grade <laughs> elementary school kids. I think it's worth it. I don't think you should be remixing a sexy red song in general in school, but if you were to do it, like if it was high schoolers, it wouldn't be as bad because they're already out there searching this up on their own. Like to, to your point, even in a high school, wouldn't it be weird if they did like My Humps by Fergie or whatever? Yeah. And then they did a, well, this is our version. It'd be like principal not signing off on none of that. But I guess the principal at this. Well, I mean, that's probably a student recording. There's no teacher watching this. She's in her classroom doing her own. She's in her own controlled environment. Cause you could be like, my books, my books, my books, my books, my books. And it's like, I'm no teacher, but I think when, when it's kids, you do have to be very sensitive to what you're doing because they're so malleable. Yep. That yeah, if you show them the ski -y, Yep. And that's gonna be stuck in their heads now for the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. You know, more than likely they're all gonna go home and say we remixed this song. Mm -hmm. And we made a song today. What was it called? It goes like this. Ski. Mom's like, what is that from? Did we even have like, what was our grungiest, grossest song of our younger years? I'm trying to think. Cause we did not have sex Elementary red. school, I, I mean, I just had Soldier Boy. We had Soldier Boy, damn, you know you're old well, high school started bringing up old yeah. artists. But high school, there was definitely a lot of Lil Wayne songs that came out and he was talking about the P and the, a lot of, you know, mm -hmm. raunchy stuff. I mean, I was listening, we were listening to like Mario and freaking right? Drake in middle school and a lot of that like mainstream legendary songs, you know. Like we hadn't entered the sexual era of music yet necessarily. Yeah. Of course. And we were definitely listening to the radio more than whatever was yeah. on the phone because we didn't have TikTok, we didn't have, we had YouTube, but you know, we really had a YouTube app where you're just playing the YouTube songs. We were kind of just going with whatever the masses were putting out. I had a damn iPod. I was playing Jason Derulo. Oh, tons of that. Um, yeah, that was all middle school. Yeah, Mario. Justin, I was doing Justin Bieber full time. Mm, I, I could, if I, man, if I could 
reincarnate my old iPod from like and I middle school. And I usually with confessions, like always talking about some SEX in there. Um, but it's not the same way as the way the rappers say it now. Like you can't compare Trey songs to this. Cause I was listening to Trey songs. Yeah, Trey songs <laughs> definitely doing some of the I invented um, sex. Uh-huh, that was one of the go-to classics. Probably, but then again, you're not having a teacher remix. And I take you to the, to the school. And I... <laughs> Think of a way to remix it. I also don't think we had as many females that were as provocative and uh, sexual that were doing rap at least, because the female rappers that are obviously more mainstream now are just pushing this agenda way more. I mean, we had Nicki Minaj, that was obvious, mm -hmm. but but even then, she wasn't. She really, wasn't, she wasn't even saying my booty hole brown, my coochie pink. She wasn't saying that in our lyrics. Like people definitely thought we had two chains. He was talking about his D all the time. People definitely thought Nicki Minaj was probably the most risque of yeah. the. Time. Or I guess other than that would be when Miley Cyrus was doing her little wrecking ball era like with those clothes like that what she wore at the show It was like, a, oh my god, that's so much skin. Mm hmm And now that is the least sexual thing <laughs> Yeah, that was a cultural moment. Miley Cyrus is just a provocative freak now. Oh, that's not ain't nobody even getting out of bed to watch that shit Yeah, or you can't even do two scrolls on your phone without seeing 30 people dressing like that or Less. Less than that. This was the most. Like oh she my. Took it, she took it too far. Uh -huh. This was the too far. And it was, I came in like a wrecking ball, was the, was the words. And I guess you could say Katy Perry, you know, when she did the California Girls with Snoop Dogg, she had cupcakes over her breasts. Mm, but I don't that. think she was talking about her breasts in the song from what I remember. It, it didn't have such but it, it was aggressive like, sexual Yeah, themes. It was there, but the rest of the music video was, was so well made that you're following this journey and story. Now it's like the music videos are close up on this, close up on that. Like it was very just show off the body. Mm -hmm. Things are way more sexualized than they were before. It's, there's always been sexual lyrics, music videos, girls, guys doing their stuff, but uh, it's just amplified by 10 now. I'm sure it'll be a field day in the comments people would love to argue for like no it's good like more sexual like sexual liberation and you'll notice yeah things as time has evolved people are getting more and more sexual like less and less clothes this was crazy back then now it's my booty hole this and that um eating dudes asses and whatever and that's the new thing. For example, you remember at high school, whatever, there's like, they would make girls dress with, oh, you gotta have, can't be showing your shoulders. Yeah, and you gotta finger, any dress. Fingertip length. Or shorts have to be by your fingertips only. I think that that's a good thing to do. Especially for school, like, yo, this is, our building, you guys are following our rules. But now there's like no dress code, you just, uh, you know. Now girls are literally probably coming in sports bras, flip flops, slides. I guess in, in my personal opinion, things do need parameters. Like things do need structure mm -hmm. and rules. Mm -hmm. Rules aren't always bad. Yeah, it's um, crazy that any kid can download TikTok and you know, I'd say a lot of kids from three to eight have TikTok and one wrong type, wrong one wrong discover and they are exposed so. Who knows what? If you 18 plus, do whatever you want. The kids, man. Ski. Yeah. I, it ain't my kids in the classroom. But um. Yeah, you see your, your kid comes home, shows you that clip. All right, we ever transfer right now. Oh, we're moving. We're moving. Uh, not even to call the teacher. You're like, okay, sounds good. We'll just head out. When I get to the point of being a parent, I'm definitely gonna be at the school meeting the teachers, just making sure <laughs> mm -hmm. things are going Cause, exactly. Because it's well, I'll homeschool them. And then mm -hmm. that comes with a whole host of yeah. Then your kid doesn't have the exposure that would make them a well more well-rounded person. I always notice homeschool does kind of make you a little mm -hmm. a little unique. Yep. Schools are yeah. Ski. Ski. I even hear what they were talking about in the thing. Yeah, we won't play more now. I don't know what the fuck they said. When we wanna. <laughs> So they really didn't say much of anything. I didn't really hear it. I wasn't even listening. <laughs> She's saying, when you're here in a class, you gotta say, what's up, boom. We're gonna be successful in this class, boom. I'm, uh, so they, they really didn't have to make this at all. It just sounded like an anthem of positivity of mm -hmm. how our classroom is gonna be, but they didn't even need to use this song to begin with. And I'm not saying she's a terrible person. I'm just saying that specific thing could have picked yeah. a different song. Exactly. People go, like, they probably, she only did that one day. That was only one time and they never played it again. Man, where the white kids at? Thumbs down button. Oh my God, the fucking. Ratchet Kids Bob, this is just. <laughs> 
<laughs> Bro, comments be geeking me. Ratchet Kids Bob, this is just sad. We gotta do better, y'all. Could have chose a different song, yeah, like yeah, seriously. That's exactly. Why America is failing as a society is because from a young age, we teach our children degeneracy and everything wrong. It's homeschool. Yeah, they're gonna go find the song as soon as they get home and... Well, cause the thing is, she had to play that beat several times in the class, and then she had to practice her lyrics in front of them. Then you guys just keep saying ski, ski every time I say my part. They're so invested, like, oh, I gotta know what this song is when I get home. I mean, but... The kids aren't even learning the part of the song that's actually good. Like, <laughs> the kid's only job to say is ski. Yep. She's the one rapping. She's too, which is... They didn't even need to have her do that. I'm sorry. Was this actually for the kids or was this just an Instagram stunt to just be funny? This is a post of like, my second year teaching. I am I love my students. It was like a flex probably to her peers. Before, right. This was one on her Instagram and her Facebook page. How we start our year in my classroom and then. If this was really for the kids benefit about positivity and whatnot. Give them some lines. Why, why film it? Yeah, true. And give them some lines. <laughs> What are you just saying ski? So that they're regurgitating. When you walk in, then you gotta say what's up. Like at least let them. I don't know. And you, for her, it, she thought it was just some fun stuff. But I, I love mean, that. I mean, I mean, obviously we're not the only ones that are being mean or picking at this. Look at the whole comment. I mean, there's not one positive. Uh, comment I mean, here. exactly. And she knows what ski means, right? And I. And then we got people here. She turned an inappropriate song into a positive one, and y'all are mad. They go, "Ski ye" is not a positive term. And then she probably didn't know that because besides that, she said nothing wrong. I, for one, didn't know that either. Listen to the original song. It's like skeet skeet in a kid's song. Hello, Al. Okay, so the definition of ski ye. They played skeet skeet on the radio. It's used to call a fine hoe when she's driving down Miami. Okay. Yeah, so not good. Not a good term. Um, not a good term. Did she not think, obviously, she's the one that found the song and chose the song, that this wouldn't be seen by her other peers? I'm not even talking about the internet. And then they send this back to the principal. I wonder if she's got in trouble for this. Yeah, I wonder what ever happened. And I'm not saying, like, she should be fired or nothing like that. I'm just saying, oh, just next time we'll do it. We'll do, um... We'll have to film it. We don't need to film it, and then we don't. We can do Bruno Mars something. He got some crack catchy things. Oh, Drake song. Because I like seeing the kids happy and enthusiastic and singing. Just, I'll pick the next song for them to do. Like, not sexy red. In conclusion, shout out to the kids. Kids, man. Ski.